Ted Conrad was a legendary fugitive who robbed the vault of Society National Bank in Public Square back in 1969 and just disappeared. He changed his name and eluded investigators for more than 50 years until he made a deathbed confession to his wife and daughter about who he was and what he'd done. In this week's episode of our Dark Side of the Land podcast, we bring his daughter to Cleveland and inside the very bank vault he stole from. My dad said, ladies, just in case it ever comes up, when I moved here, I had to change my name. The authorities are probably still looking for me. And I just wanted you to know that in case it ever comes up. And then we went right back to watching NCIS. Ashley Randall found out her father, Tom Randall, who seemed by all accounts to be a normal suburban dad, was really Ted Conrad, one of the most wanted men in Cleveland. Fearing he only had a few weeks to live, he confessed to having changed his name because he was a fugitive. Conrad, a 20-year-old vault teller at Society National Bank in 1969, was the man behind one of Cleveland's coldest cases. Conrad went into the bank with a paper bag, um, to, took $215,000 out, put a carton of cigarettes and I believe a bottle of whiskey on top of that bag and walked out the door and was never seen again. Conrad stole the equivalent of nearly $2 million in today's money, and he went more than 50 years undetected. Throughout the years, we put him on Unsolved Mysteries, America's Most Wanted. Nothing was ever coming together, you know, over all those years. We always imagined Conrad would be on a island somewhere with fast cars, with lots of money, with gold, and you know, it turned out to be the total opposite. Shortly after he died, someone sent Tom Randall's obituary to U.S. Marshal Pete Elliott here in Cleveland, and they picked up on the similarities between Tom and Ted. People huh. lie, they lie close to home. It's, it's never failed. In the years after his death, Conrad's daughter Ashley has tried to uncover who her father was before he was Tom Randall and why he committed such an infamous bank job. Many believe he was inspired by the movie The Thomas Crown Affair. Yeah, I think Google was my best friend. Mm -hmm. There were, thankfully or not, just pages and pages of articles written over the past 50 years. I mean, some as recent, I think, was in the past decade um, about law enforcement going to a high school reunion of dads to see if he would show up. We brought her from her home in Boston to Cleveland to walk in her father's footsteps. So coming here to Cleveland, what were you hoping to get out of your visit here? I think mostly I was hoping to feel like I got to know my dad a little more. Wanting to feel closer to her dad and his past, she walked the halls of Lakewood High School, visited the home where he lived with his family and the apartment he fled from, and we brought her to the scene of the crime inside the bank. And what was most shocking was that where I felt that the most was at the bank, where he worked and where he stole the money. Society National Bank is now Key Bank, but the insides are original, dating back to 1890 pillars, the teller stands inside, and the vault. That walking in there and walking down the steps to the vault, it was oddly comforting to know that this is where my dad spent a lot of his time. But this crime wasn't the only thing he kept from his family. Honestly, the worst secret he's kept for, for me is not this, even the secret of him being a fugitive. Jen Pachano, 19 News. Wow. In this episode, Jen uncovers where Ten Conrad was hiding all those years. She also explores why he did it and reveals the secret that had Ashley more upset than finding out her father was a fugitive. You can listen to Dark Side of the Land right now on the 19 News website and mobile app or wherever you get your podcasts. The 19